Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now, the sales are on. The sales are on. I have been to one day savings. The sales are on, ladies and gents. I'm going to open this package and show you what I got. And I would like to thank One Day Savings for all the support that they've gave to my channel over the past year. So we'll have a look at what we've got in here. Now, they do excel with diamond painting. And this one is, it's all the Super Mario characters, this one. I'm going to leave all the links underneath the video. I'll bring this up so you can see it. It's got Super Mario. I don't know what the little girl's called. I, I broke my nail here just when I was taking my Christmas tree back down. But anyway, it's got Super Mario. The Super Mario Brothers. It's got the alligator, whatever he is, and the other things there. I got this for someone to do. There's uh, one of my friends kids is mad on Super Mario and so I've got that I'm going to pop that aside this is quite big actually this is 45 by 75 one day savings do a lot of large diamond artwork and this is a diamond artwork if you haven't seen it if you look at some of the other videos on my channel um, I do show you these now inside here I'm not going to open this one I'll open one of the other ones. You get a little tray, the little tool to pick the diamonds up and it's got all these little bags of gems in it and you put them on the corresponding mark. So that one is the letter I. No, it's a number one. These are numbered. I like one day savings because a lot of theirs are numbered. So it's much easier. Well, this is a mixture actually because I've just shot myself in the foot there because some of these are little little icons as well you find the packet that corresponds to it and you stick that diamond onto it i'll pop that there now i do have other things look at this i oh, i have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this look at the size of this my sister sandra is going to freak out oops my sister Sandra is going to absolutely go potty when she sees this. Look at the size of this. If you're into resin art and buying moulds, look at the size of this one. Now, my sister's avoided buying this because she couldn't work out how big it was. But look at this, Sandra. Look how big this is. And I've got my... J Diction. I've got my J Diction two part resin that I got from this company. You mix part A and part B and then you pour it in here and it solidifies. And when it goes solid and you take it out, you get this beautiful wall hanging of a butterfly. You can put it outside, hang it on your wall. Look at the size of it. Absolutely amazing. But look at that, so pretty. Even in this plain side, you could put some dried flowers, little dried flowers in this, this side. Now, my sister Sandra did say that she, she's seen someone with this and it's a little bit fiddly to take out, but once it's out, it's beautiful. Once this side is out, it's beautiful. So I'm going up to my sister Sandra soon and my sister Sandra and I are going to do this. We're going to do this one. We're waiting on another one, but I can't remember if it's in this pack or not. But I'm going to pop that aside over there. Now, I'll go through the bag, the rest of the... Oh, wait a minute. Here is the other one that I've been waiting on. <gasps> oh, This is a dream catcher. Now, you can definitely make this and put them outside. You can put resin outside. And look at this one. Now, that is the top. That's round that way. This is the top of the dream catcher and your resin will go in there too and it'll make the circles to hold the feathers. 
look at the size of this one. That's my hand. Look at the size of this one. This is really big. Now that usually, you can sit that on there if you've got a board. But look at the size of this. These feathers are beautiful. You would do those all different colours. It is so, so pretty. I'm going to pop that aside. That's a tw that's £12, that one as well. Pop that to the side. Sandra is like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Now this is a little diamond painting. Now, I thought it was another mould, but it's not. Look at this one. This is a diamond painting window chime. You can put this in the window. This is £11, this one. Now, I'm going to take this one out. Look at this one. This is where you can see what you get in your diamond paintings. There's all these little beads. Now, this is a kit. It's £11. You get feathers to hang. You get beads. You've got little bags. Now, that's your pokey tool and that's your putty. But I say every single time... Buy some cheap blue tack and that is, it is putty, blue tack's like a putty as well and just use your pen, there's a hole in here and just push it into your either that putty or your blue tack and it helps to stick your diamonds. It's got the hanging spinning thing that you need to make it spin in your window. These are your diamonds. And you take the corresponding number and you pop it on the corresponding number of your wind chime. Now this one has all these little feathers as well. So you can put them on and the little other feathers. You've got all the bits that you need to make it into either a wind chime. You can put it in your window. Look at that, it's so pretty. Look out quite large. Now in the picture, that's the one there. That is the one that I've got here. So you've got this and you'll hang that circle in there. There's a little loop there. And you'll hang that inside there like that. And then all your little attachments will drop from these points in this one and I take it it will be this one here there's a little one there that you'll hang it up with you'll hang it up with that one or you can hang it with that one as well I suppose so that is really pretty now if you're looking for something for a birthday or to try the diamond art and you don't want the posters like that one you can get something like this you can get something like this. And a lot of people have said, could you do one and video it? And I've got a little bit set up over on my other desk. And what I'll do is I'll video as I do one and then I'll pop it up just to show you what you do with these. There's a lot of people off the last video say that they've never seen this before and it looks very, very interesting. It's addictive. It's very addictive. Once you start doing these, my sister Anne has started doing diamond artwork and she is really addicted to it. My sister Elizabeth loved it, but very sadly, she's, she passed away. And so I don't have her to fall back on. Now, what I've also got are these. Now, this box is a little bit squished. This is another set of coasters. I got a set of coasters off a different company and then I thought I would look at the ones from here. Now these look a little bit better because these actually have a little plastic stand. Now what you'll do with these ones, look at these, you make it and then you'll pop that over the top of it so that your cup is not directly sitting on the diamonds. The other coasters that I got, they, they were sitting on the top of the diamonds. 
Now, it does, you do get this little rack to keep them all in. I'll pop this, you can see that there. They all fit in to that little rack. And the instructions are on the box. So you could put some cork on the back. So once you've done it, you'll peel that off and you'll put your corresponding diamonds in. Some of these diamonds are much bigger. Look at those ones. They'll fit in to the number. And once you've done it, you'll pop it in to there. You can put a piece of cork or a thin piece of cork on the back, but I don't think you need it. Once you've got that pushed in there and your cup sits on the top, it's going to keep them nice and clean. And it's definitely not like the other ones where I just thought that the, the cups would stick to the excess diamond stuff. These are really pretty. They're all different colours. These are pretty. I really like these. So I'll be keeping this set for myself. The other set I gave away as a Christmas gift to one of my friends. So they could try this out. But this set, I'm going to keep this set. I like the idea of these little covers for them. The cost of this set... So the cost of this set is £11 for this. But that that's a good that's a good buy because you've got these extra covers over the top of it. I haven't seen these on the other coaster sets. And I think that's a great idea having that to put over the coasters. We will pop them in there. So Mother's Day is coming up and this is a different one. I got one that was a dog and I really liked it. And I'm sure this should be a different one. Oh, there's a screw out of that one. I better be careful not to lose those. Is that a spare one or just a... that made its way out? Oh, yep, there's a hole here. Oh, that wasn't very good, was it? It's not difficult to do these. I love the idea that you can do these diamond artwork. I'm going to give that bag to Motley. And it doesn't need to be, there's a few more screws in there. It doesn't need to be a poster. Now, you even get a little screwdriver with this. You get the instructions. Oh, it is the dog. Oh my gosh, I went and ordered another dog. <laughs> I've ordered another dog. I can give it to Sandra. She's always looking after Motley for me. Now what you do is, this is clear. You take, you take the backing off it. You do your diamond artwork. And then you build your tree. You build the tree like this so you've done your diamond artwork and you've got your clear plastic top you do you take the clear plastic top take the the wrapping off of that and it'll be clear into the tree like this and it's just eight little screws that you put in they even give you the screwdriver to connect it all together and you'll have the clear plastic over the top of your artwork so nothing sticks to it. And this is a great set. It comes out about this size. If you see the picture, is about that size. And that's great for sitting on your knee in your bed. And you've got your own piece of artwork. You can even just put your cups of tea and things on it, your cups of coffee. And look at this. I've even... So that is... A great gift. I'm going to pop that back in the box. A few people have said it's got nothing to do with crochet. I don't want to see this on your channel. I don't want to see all that stuff on your channel. It's got nothing to do with crochet. My channel was a crochet and craft. It started off as a craft channel and then it developed in from the arthritis that I get 
and in my joints and in my knuckles and sometimes it swells a lot more these ones are swollen a bit badly especially this one today and in my wrists as well always try and keep them warm <laughs> so like everyone else it helps my channel out and like a lot of other youtubers now we are having to turn to doing other things as well to keep our channel seen and the best way for you that's free to help me is subscribe to the channel if you click on the subscribe button it's completely free it's completely free and then that's going to help my numbers of the subs i don't get paid for it i don't make any money at all from the number of subscribers that we have no one does on youtube it helps you to be seen a little bit more and when people watch your videos then the algorithm picks that up and it pushes you a little bit forward it pushes you a little bit just to be seen a bit more so please subscribe to the channel and if you click on the bell icon youtube will tell you when i put up another tutorial so until the next time happy crafting and i'll see you all again soon Goodbye.